I took her to my favorite New York restaurant, a Russian tea room, bal alike as an all. Oh, she'd never been there before. say this, I have to. No, don't hate me. Uh, but if you do, you do. Eleanor Roosevelt. I love you. No, no, don't say anything, just listen. I love you and not like a, a sister or a friend, but, well, like a lover. And then she said it, the miracle. Yeah, darling, don't you know I love you too? And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn balalaikas were drowning you out. <laughs> so she had to say it again. I love you. Public holding hands underneath the table. <laughs> and it dawned on me like the day breaking, like the sun rising. She loves me. We're in love. Not just me. We. Oh. I wanted was to hold her in my arms. For God's sake, Mrs. Roosevelt, let's go home. <laughs> She told me she'd been in love with me for a long time, ever since that silver morning we stepped off the train. I thought I would pass out. I didn't. I got out the one valuable thing I own. A beautiful ring, a diamond and sapphire band. I slipped it on her finger. Will you be mine? I can't ask you to marry me because you're already married. But will you be mine? And then we were both crying. There she was in my arms, erasing every hurt I ever had, touching my hair, kissing my eyelids. And I heard myself saying, finally saying, everything I ever felt. Jesus, how I love you. You are my beauty. So good. And her saying, I thought I would never find you. All these years, love has only been about serving others. And now, oh, hick, hick. Darling, I want to touch you everywhere. Now, I know you've never been with a woman, so I'll go very slowly. She put her hand over my mouth to stop me and laughed. She told me she'd gone to an English boarding school. <laughs> Oh, I see some of you have been to the same boarding school. Yeah, the one where uh, all the girls are jumping in and out of each other's beds, huh? <coughs> well, everybody considered it completely normal, uh, especially the headmistress, although Eleanor never partook. She said, so. And then she told me 
that her best friends now are four women who are two couples. She said, let's get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got on with it. <laughs> Oh. Afterwards, she lay in my arms. Our skin had dissolved and our blood, our very souls, were flowing back and forth between us. Oh. She said, you know, it's October 8th, just one month before the election. I have a lot of things to do. I know. She said, I should at least phone to say I won't be doing them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you should. She said, but to phone I'd have to get out of bed. <laughs> yes, you would. She went to the phone, dialed, and said, hello, this is Mrs. Roosevelt. Please cancel all my appointments for the rest of the day. I have some very urgent personal business to attend to. Goodbye. <laughs> Back in bed, she snuggled into me, and we closed our eyes. We fell into a blissful sleep, never were, never moving, not once, perfectly still. <sighs>my pictures are nearly all up and I have you in my sitting room. I can't kiss you in person, so I kiss your picture. Good night and good morning. Oh, oh, oh. Don't laugh. And I kiss your letter. <laughs> March 7th. My dear, when we meet, may I forget there are other reporters present? Or must I behave? I shall want to hug you to death. This woman is incorrigible. You must behave. <laughs> March 8th. Oh, I want to put my arms around you. I ache to hold you close. Your ring is of great comfort. I look at it and think she does love me, or I wouldn't be wearing it. She wore my ring to the inauguration. <laughs> oh, I wonder if anybody noticed. Well, they wouldn't know it was a gift from me, would they? <laughs> Eleanor has been in the White House three weeks, and she's writing me every day.
we did together, how we felt about each other. Huh? My, my dear one, are you up for being mocked and reviled as a as pervert? Because I'm actually considering giving all the letters to What's this? There's something in this one. <coughs> Rose petals. June 3rd, 1934, Balkill Cottage. Hick, darling. I wonder if any of the sweetness of this little favorite rose of mine will linger by the time it reaches, reaches you. you my, garden. my garden at the cottage was a lovely sight in full bloom. And unconsciously I wanted you to see it with me. Mm. Always yours. Your I was loved by Eleanor Roosevelt. I was loved by Eleanor Roosevelt. She was my lady. I was her knight, her refuge. To the end, we were violin strings vibrating in unison. Thirty years of love. I'm proud of that. Well, people will never understand, but I don't give a damn. I cannot destroy the letters. I, they're all that remains. I'm going to give all of them. All of them to the archive. I want people to know. I want you to know. Mm -hmm.